so let us start this uh, particular session on stress management which is uh, the last topic of the second unit i will try to complete it uh, today itself so that we can start the third unit next uh, session so when we talk about the stress it is something uh, that everybody understand everybody knows it but fails to manage it say for example okay uh, before i start this particular session let me tell you one story human look oh, you you can consider human being just like a electric bulb what happens in electric bulb you know specifications are there in case of electric bulbs if you supply 220 volt volt and uh, particular ampere then uh, it will give you the bright and the best output that means the performance of the bulb would depends on the right supply of the current voltage so electricity if electricity is in a right quantity and quality then obviously you will get the optimum the best output or best lighting if you supply more than 220 volts say for example 300 volts what will happen it will directly make bulb to fuse and even if you supply 150 volt it will uh, definitely perform but the light the output would not be as per the expected one so it would have dim lighting so if we compare employee as a bulb and stress as a electricity so if you give right kind of stress to a person that means 220 or 200 to 220 to 240 volt range this range then employee would give the best performance or the best output whereas if you increase this electricity supply or stress supply to people or employees of organization say for example 300 units it will make employee to fuse almost break down no performance or very less performance and if you supply stress below than required say for example 150 units units you may be it is just for your explanation then employee would perform but the performance would be little bit lower output would be lower not optimum so you can consider that stress is basically a necessity of any organization and that is why it is called as a stress management you need see without any stress you cannot do anything without any tension you cannot do anything so little bit tension is necessary and that is why i say you need to understand the stress management now sometime it happens that teacher gives stress to students that stress may be in range may be 220 200 to 240 range it's okay but sometime it happens that students are given high stress more than 240 units then sometime students break down they are unable to perform their performances you know starts deteriorating and sometime there is less stress given to students then also performance or learning teaching learning is very low lower side say for example you know normally degree colleges ba bcom normal traditional degree colleges they are giving very less stress to students supply of stress to student is very low 
and that is because of that the learning is not adequate optimum and students are not able to perform best they have a skill but there is stress level or little bit tension level is low so for example while you are doing a, for example any student who did ba how much tension you are having in your mind to get past to go, prepare for exam to whereas when you join this particular mba program you know a little bit higher level of stress is being given to you there are some students who are not or who might not be able to cope up with the increase stress given to you in hbtu and the result may be in many form say for example result may be that you start making absenteeism you start skipping from classes or you arrive late or you leave early like you all in class are aware about it that who leaves class early or there are uh, some students who join first half classes they miss second half classes there are some students who are you know who don't have tension of any absenteeism so maybe that they are not able to cope up with the increased stress given in hbtu to them as a in professional course maybe that your performance start deteriorating you make more errors you start forgetting that what to do what not to do maybe some student approached to teacher or even to me also that sir there are there are too much assignments or there are too much activities too many activities maybe there maybe that your stress supply a stress supply may be more than 240 maybe 260 right now or maybe 220 240 but you your personality your students you know aura as be you know is tuned to 150 volt or 150 unit supply of stress in your graduation so maybe it happens little bit you need to widen your scope maybe 180 to 240 so that you can optimize your performance symptom may be that you overreact sometime you start arguing when you are in tension you are under stress maybe under stress or over stress so you get irritated very easily so these are the symptoms of stress when you feel stress you start cribbing your anxiety level is increased and when anxiety level increases obviously your it will affect on your sleep you will develop a sleep disorder your in extreme cases if you are not treating this stress level high level of stress then it may deteriorate your health sometime your eating habit changes when you get tension there are some people who eat more when they are in tension there are some people who eat less when they are in tension or excessive smoking or drinking or sleeplessness yes, these these are the common symptoms of stress when you are supplied over stress or under stress now if you look at this concept nothing else but simply stress is a kind of you know stage when work and pressure is causing you know heavier on your side when you start feeling worry and pressure that is caused by having too much to deal with sometimes you think that there is there are too many activities to do so it may happens stress is non specifically induced changes in your biological system 
Now look at non specifically means they are not specifically induced. Non specifically induced change in biological system, your biological system, maybe your tension increases, maybe your blood pressure increases, maybe your anxiety level increases. Stress is a psychological, physiological, and behavioral response. Look at very important thing. It is psychological. Psychological means when you feel tension in your mind. So there are psychological responses. There are physiological responses. When you hit the table, say for example, many times when you are in tension and you hit the table, physiological responses. Behavioral responses when you are in tension, you start using adjectives in your uh, in, in UP language, adjectives in your normal uh, speaking. Maybe responses by an individual when they perceive lack of equilibrium between demand placed upon them and their ability. Look at important thing is demand placed upon them and eligibility or ability. Another stress concept is that stress results from an imbalance between demand and resources. When you are working in your organization, sometimes it happens that you think that there is no support system, there is no computer in your department, but demand is that within uh, two hours you get this work done prepare a, a vision document and present it and you don't have any computer so it will increase your stress symptoms we have discussed that these are certain symptoms which you need to learn that if any another system is coming up it means you have a either increased stress or no stress what are the sources of stress now, if you look at that sources of stress or stressors or the causes of stress or the reasons of the stress, so you will find that there are four types of stressors. Individual stressors, group stressors, organizational stressors and extra organizational stressors. So look at primarily for an organization, organizational stressors are you know in most of the cases organizational stressors are there to employ say for example if there is a discrimination in pay and salary structure you compare as per the equity theory you know we have discussed motivation if you find that your input and your output and your friends input or your friends output you compare and if you find that your input is higher than your friend's input and your your output salary pay is lesser than your friend's one so it will cause a stress tension in your mind a strict rules and regulations sometimes someone says that yes if you enter into class and write exactly 10 short and if someone gives you flexibility then it will have some different response in your inner body. Ineffective communication. Sometime in organization it happens that communication is not clear and because of that miscommunication or ineffective communication you get tension. Say for example uh, your boss called meeting and uh, there was no communication to you about the meeting and just before five minutes your boss says that you know you need to present it so because of miscommunication or ineffective communication or no communication you may feel stress peer pressure is always there if your friend is doing well so it gives you pressure you can take example of three idiots it is not that you uh, if if your uh, if you tops then no issue. If your friend talks, then there is a more pressure. You are not happy with your own performance. Rather, 
more happiness comes when your competitor fails so it is simple peer pressure it may be in positive side it may be negative side stress is basically a double edged weapon and if it is properly used you can get optimum output and if it is not properly used it will definitely damage your system that i have told you that if the electricity supply to the bulb is 200 to 240 or 180 to 240 it depends on the bulb's filament and if you supply electricity in between this range you will get good output bright light but if you supply below then you will not get adequate light if you supply more bulb will get fused now the thing is that if employee is getting less stress so the productivity will be affected if employee will get extra stress again the productivity will be affected so you need to optimize you need to look at that how much tension to give and when to give so this is very important to understand goal conflicts and goal ambiguity may be another factor of stress causing stress if you are not clear about your goals or there is a goal conflict your immediate boss says something and your top boss says something so if there is a conflict it will create a tension in your mind you will not be able to understand that uh, what to do more of centralized centralized and formal structure centralized means every decision is being taken by limited people or by one person yeah. so this may be causing the tension if system is decentralized and you have some power to you know use then obviously it will help you to reduce stress or to manage stress less promotional opportunities in organization also leads the tension in your mind if you see that there are you know your promotional career avenues are blocked or there are there are very limited opportunities then you will have a little bit tense lack of employee participation in decision making as you understand excessive control of employees by the manager obviously high voltage supply monotonous nature of job nature of job is also sometimes cause stress unsafe and unhealthy working conditions is the most uh, commonly available in across the sector across the companies because the organization especially in private sector they say that you keep them output at any condition but they are not investing in working conditions safety of and health on working you know place in working place you can you will feel when you join any company or those who are working they they can understand that there are not you know unsafe or unhealthy working conditions maybe that you are not getting drinking water maybe safe drinking water maybe that uh, you you are not getting hygienic uh, you know conditions or maybe that uh, the the you know, sometimes food uh, conditions are not uh, healthy sometimes the climate is not healthy say for example every time you are not uh, you know there is extreme cold and there is extreme uh, you, know, you know summer so these conditions may uh, affect your productivity you may get tension lack of confidentiality there may be that uh, Uh, everything is open you cannot uh, in, in case of very uh, responsible uh, jobs or activities uh, you cannot make things confidential maybe because of that so many interference of people or you know at par uh, you know workload or something like that crowding is another stressor in organization when we talk about individual stressor and group stressors so in individual stressor he may be having 
family relations. Something happens in your family and that impact on your stress. There may be like, you know, in the morning you come to office and uh, you start, you know, shouting on your subordinate. So, very first time a subordinate can understand that this tension is because of that, he might not be uh, given breakfast or something like that. So, your family relation may affect on your uh, you know, uh, mental health. Personal health, if you are not fit, healthy, so it may uh, give you a little bit of stress. Employee relations, your relation may not be very healthy to uh, other employees. Role ambiguity, we have discussed that if there is a you know, role ambiguity, then uh, you are not having a very clarity in your role, what to do, what not to do, then it may be a tension. Failure to understand expectation is one of the reason of stress. Like as a son or daughter in your family, many times situation comes that when you fail to understand expectation of your parents, what they want and if you fail to understand then obviously your uh, direction would be different than their expected direction. Same thing happens in your organization. If you fail to understand your boss expectation then uh, it will be it will give you tension. Personality traits. Some people do have personality uh, aggressive personality. Some people may have a very cool personality. So, you know, these, these personality traits, aggressive approach, approach to task. So, that may also gives you some time tension. Without, sometimes, some people are uh, of that kind when uh, they don't listen to uh, other very seriously, but they want people to listen them very seriously. So, it depends on the, your uh, traits. Finance issues, maybe your uh, personal, you are tight on your pocket. So, Sometimes it may give you tension and it gives you tension. Career pressure. Who can understand uh, this point better than uh, you people? Because in MBA, you know, or in this uh, economic uh, conditions, these economic conditions, there is a career pressure on you, youth class. And there is an expectation of your family that you settle down very soon so that they get their you know, responsibility for or it, it, there is a career pressure and this 20 to 30 year age bracket is having this, uh, you, know, you know, stressor time. In case of group sources or group stressors, we talk about the peer group, what is the, you know, peer group structure, whether it is homogeneous, heterogeneous and it gives you tension. And mostly you see what happens. Um, when you are, uh, you have joined, suppose you have joined a WhatsApp group, WhatsApp group of your uh, 10th or 12th, you know, colleagues. In that peer group, maybe someone message you or you enter into argument with someone and uh, that gives you tension, unnecessary tension. So, even though the group is homogeneous, because all are of same age bracket and uh, you know, the reason of association is same 12th or 10th, something like that. But maybe some social issue comes into that uh, discussion and uh, you get tension, little bit tension. It happens. It is part of day to day life. Same thing happens in organization also. Group cohesiveness. If you are three or four member in an organization to work on a task and if one member says that to move in north direction, other member says that to move in south direction. So, there will be a little bit tension, which will lead to group conflict. Group conflict is one step, you know, advanced stage of your group non cohesiveness. Lack of social support. If group is not getting social support, then that, uh, that may cause a tension. There are extra organizational sources means may be that there are some factors which are not because of individual thing, because of group or organization, but employee is intense, manager is intense. So maybe that you have some social or technical changes in your, you know, 
सोशल चेंज सोसाइटी चेंज जनरेशन चेंज एंड बिकॉज ऑफ द जनरेशन चेंज यू आर नॉट कोप अप विद द प्री जनरेशन एंड यू आर ऑल्सो नॉट कोप अप विद द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन से फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन इन आवर जनरेशन वी टॉक दैट वी आर द सैंडविच जनरेशन आवर प्री जनरेशन आवर पेरेंट्स एक्सपेक्ट सो मच फ्रॉम अस बट वी कैनॉट एक्सपेक्ट एनीथिंग फ्रॉम आवर नेक्स्ट जनरेशन सन एंड डॉटर सो वट इज दैट सो इट इज इट इज काइंड ऑफ प्रेशर so there is a social change or there may be some technical change say for example if there is job change in uh, the, the technology of production uh, that changes technical change so it may be not because of behavioral aspect but it gives you a little bit tension economic and financial conditions it may be an individual factor that your financial condition or economic condition is not good it may be that india's economic condition is not good country or the automobile sector's economy is not doing well whereas like in corona period people talks about that software sector and pharma sector they are over performing whereas all other sectors are under performing so economy may be a you know cause of stress source of stress social class conflict look at this is very uh, interesting case when you talk about social class conflict or community conditions so you can say that nowadays religious conflict is very common since it is uh, election period you find it social class conflict community class conflict is also there community conflict is there so community conditions social class conflict this also cause stress even outside the organization and within organization now government departments public departments private departments they are having this in breeding of this uh, conflict and because of this there is a tension in almost every employee because people talks about the title name people talks about address by title name whereas the name is something different so when you talk about the community conditions when you talk about social class conflict sometimes it gives you tension now how to handle with this this is important thing because you need to manage on your own look at these things there may be some organizational strategies to handle stress and there are some individual strategies to handle organizational strategies may be that 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 are to be uh, initiated by organization so when we talk about that uh, uh, role ambiguity when you talk about that lack of a skill when you talk about the lack of expectation uh, of boss or something the strategy organization can adapt may be that orientation proper orientation of the employee to the job to the company to the boss and training on task so before you assign task you give proper training to the employees to every person associated with the task so that there may not be any role ambiguity who will perform what this must be very clear so it will give you when you give training on task when you orient make orientation there will be a role clarity of every person associated with the task or with the organization and when there will be a role clarity then it reduces stress and when you make orientation and training on other hand you are making employee participation in decision making employee participation in training employee participation in orientation socialization so this will definitely help because lack of communication is the 
major concern in organizations say for example i am angry with you the first thing i do is i will stop talking to you right it means from next time onward no communication so there will be conflict whenever there is no communication there is a conflict and there is a probability of you know role ambiguity confusion organization can make job rotation this one strategy is from hr point of view whenever you know organization observe that the increased level of supply of tension is there or stress is there just rotate the job and apart from this job rotation when you rotate the job the people feel unreached in job so make job enrich maybe in uh, incentive form or maybe in non incentive form but make job enrich so job enrichment is another strategy to manage stress try to improve working environment like working conditions talk about that uh, working conditions on a healthy working conditions they are causing stress so try to make working environment good so invest in working environment and at last one of the important thing is that organization can organize stress control workshops stress stress management workshops now what to do in this stress management workshop like if you talk about in um, pre 2000 era most of the american companies they started coming to stress control workshops and started adapting some yoga sessions some exercise sessions some sports activities some relaxation time period so these things were adapted some organization still believes in yoga and all they they they, they, they devote some time but in indian companies some of the companies they are doing but may not be doing on regular basis or may not be part of their charter this is stress control workshops stress control workshops where no investment is required maybe that at the end of the day you can have a half hour half an hour tea session and let all the people discuss have a cup of tea and then disperse go to home so that can also reduce stress that become light because on other way it increases communication and i also believe that if there is informal communication if companies believe more on informal communication then they can reduce stress a little bit in a effective manner as a individual you can make exercise the best way to reduce stress doctor says scientist says that if you have stress make physical exercise because that psychological energy that is accumulated and resulted in form of tension or stress that accumulated energy must be absorbed exhausted used or wasted and physical exercise is one of the best way to uh, consume that uh, additional psychological energy that you have accumulated over and over because of your working environment maybe because of any stress relaxation this relaxation is very important the relaxation is also a kind of physical exercise yoga say for example um, i may get relaxed by uh, listening music you may get relaxed with the simple cup of tea someone may get relaxed by simply talking to his girlfriend or uh, boyfriend girlfriend someone may get uh, relaxed by uh, you know beating someone even it may be because that uh, accumulated energy is released somehow if you uh, you know bark on someone it releases energy 
even physical exercise as we, uh, we discussed that that also releases your extra energy and these two are very effective i tell you these two are very effective when you want to relax it is not that every time you go to sleep your relaxation means you are basically like computer computer goes in sleep mode so your body goes in sleep mode minimum energy consumption minimum processing and you are aware you are awake so you are relaxed another strategy which companies can help them with the, as a individual strategy they allow them to work from home work home transition they can take work to home and then they can leave but it depends that if people or employees are responsible this this activity usually is common in higher level of positions but lower level position it is not uh, so easy to make this work home transition especially in my case yes cognitive therapy is another uh, scientific uh, mechanism to reduce stress networking obviously friend circle if you uh, devote some uh, 10 minutes half an hour one hour to friend circle networking social networking or like like any type of networking that reduces the stress and the professional strategy at individual level may be i believe most of this to do list you always make a to do list that yes tomorrow you have to do this thing day after tomorrow you have to do this thing if you have well planning of your activities to perform that will help you to reduce stress this is a very common and very effective so this finishes uh, today's stress management lecture and i hope that this uh, this was a good uh, session with you so thanks a lot